Recently, I was looking online for a very specific type of cycling glasses because I was fed up of the limitations of the one that I already had. I should point out at this stage that I'm recommending a product purely and simply because I discovered it and it's been brilliant for me. I get nothing from the company I'm talking about here. It's just me passing on to you my experience of a great product. I was looking for glasses that were direct glazed prescription lenses, bifocal and photochromic. And quite honestly, I was struggling to find anywhere that sold that combination. I could find prescription and bifocal. I could find prescription and photochromic. And I could find prescription, photochromic and very focal, but not the combination I was looking for. And there's a very good reason why, if you do wear very focal glasses, normally, you probably should be considering bifocals for your cycling, which I'll come to shortly. So why was I finding the ones I already had so annoying? Well, these are my previous ones. And as you can see, they are a design which is quite common in cycling glasses with a prescription lens separate here and various clear or darker clip-on shields which clip on in front of them. And they're interchangeable depending on the weather. The first issue I have with these, which many friends have had, is that the construction is quite flimsy. My prescription frame here is already in danger of falling out because one of the plastic clips here has snapped. The second issue is that when wearing a more see-through outer shield in less bright weather, well, it basically looks like you're wearing two pairs of glasses, which to me is never a good look. Then we have the scenario that I'm sure plenty of you have had. You go on a ride on a sunny day with your appropriate outer dark shield over your lenses and you get indoors at the cafe and it's too dark. The only other choice is to take them off, which means you can't then read the menu because you need the reading section of your bifocal. And I'm sorry, but choosing the correct cake at a cafe stop is of course the most important part of every bike ride and you can't risk getting that wrong. I suppose you could carry the more clear replacement outer cover in the back pocket on the ride but that's just not for me, that's too much hassle. The final straw for me was when I went out on an early evening ride with my friends Ross and Ricky. It was a lovely sunny evening and I was wearing my dark version naturally. As time wore on I was persuaded to make a quick visit to the pub. Didn't take much persuading I have to say. This resulted in me doing the last five miles of my ride in the complete darkness. I had lights on my bike so that wasn't a problem but I couldn't see a thing through my dark sunglasses. So I ended up having to not wear any at all which really wasn't ideal. And for me this ride made me realise that photochromic prescription lenses was the way forward for my cycling. After much scouring of the internet, I came across a recommendation for a company called Optilabs based in Croydon who do a lot of their business via online sales. I was pleasantly surprised to see that they offered a try before you buy service where they let you choose up to three frames and send them to you with non-prescription lenses in so you can check the fit and the look before you commit to purchasing. I thought that was a great service. Crucially, they were the only company I could find offering the combination I was looking for. These are the ones I went for, the Optilabs Cirrus cycling glasses. They've got plenty of choices of frames and these are the ones I chose. They come with two frame colours and I chose these particular ones because they almost match my bike and cycling helmet. Yeah, I know, pathetic, but there you go. They are direct glazed, so the prescription is on the lens that's fitted into the frame without the need for a separate and comparatively flimsy outer shields to fit over the lens like this type. 
photochromic, which means the tint changes from virtually clear in low light and darkens with the changing light. So no more guessing which of these to choose to put on before a ride. They're bifocal, so my normal prescription dominates the lens, but there's a small area at the bottom for close-up reading. I've seen so many cyclists with prescription cycling glasses that struggle to read the head unit on their bike, or even worse, struggle to choose the right cake at the cafe because they use separate reading glasses when they're at home. Bifocals solve that problem. For cycling, you really should consider bifocals rather than varifocals, and here's why. The varifocal lens is designed like this with three levels of prescription from top to bottom, giving you this area at either side in the middle without a prescription known as peripheral distortion, an inevitable result of varifocal design. So when looking over your shoulder to see what's coming behind you, which you would do on a bike more than at any other time, you would often be looking through that area of the lens that's distorted. Something you don't get with bifocals, and some might say isn't the safest of situations. I've ridden with these for a few weeks now, and in the UK at this time of year, we have a variety of cycling conditions from dull and misty to lovely bright autumn and winter sunshine and often all on the same ride. Here they are at a recent event at a very early morning start with no tint and then later on on the same ride once the sun had come up. I don't notice anything changing but more importantly I don't notice anything not changing quickly enough. I've neither been left dazzled because of slow lens tint transition or left in the dark to confuse my cake selection. They're clear when I need them to be and dark when I need them to be. And all the previous annoyances and hassles with cycling glasses have gone away. Studying the cloud cover before a ride to decide which of these to put on is no longer a thing. These glasses are sturdy but also really light and comfortable. I really can't fault them. Buying online can often be accompanied by a touch of uncertainty around the credentials, quality and experience of the company you're ordering from and the worrying prospect of not actually getting to speak to somebody if you have a query or a problem. Definitely an annoying issue with many internet only retailers. Well, Optilabs have more than 50 years experience in this market and were more than happy to talk to me over the phone with one or two queries that I had. The service was friendly and first class, I have to say. They've got a large variety of frames and every kind of lens you can think of, including the style with replacement inserts that I had before, if that's your bag. If you have a favorite pair already, but the lens needs reglazing or needs a new prescription, they'll do that for you too. All made in their own lens laboratory on the premises in Croydon. So, in a nutshell, as a cyclist who needs glasses for correcting distance vision with a separate reading magnification, I'm recommending to you direct glazed prescription lens cycling glasses with bifocal, not very focal for reasons I explained earlier, and photochromic lenses. Specifically, I recommend these ones, the Optilabs Cirrus cycling glasses. But do look at the Optilabs website, which I'll link in the description below, and see what they have to suit you. I'm sure there'll be something there. All I can say is by replacing these with these has made a huge difference to me. Lessened the hassle, increased the reliability and durability of my cycling glasses, and most of all ensured I always choose the right cake at the cafe stop. So I'll leave that with you. I hope this has been of interest and use to you. If it has, I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe to the channel below so that videos like this will be pushed to other cyclists who might be interested in the content by the mysterious YouTube algorithm. And please give the video a nice thumbs up too. Links to a couple of my other videos are coming up here and here. So why not take a look at those? In the meantime, happy cycling and I'll see you soon.